Hi everyone, this is Angelo, Senior Business Consultant at uh, Platformation, where service now Elite Partner. So after nearly 10 years dealing with uh, strategic consultancy and organizational uh, development, I was uh, lucky enough to join Platformation as soon as uh, the Goal Framework was available in the San Diego release. We're talking about May 2022. So I thought to share with you a few highlights and insights about uh, what it is uh, and uh, how it could help uh, our organization to perform more and better. We'll try to do so starting from uh, a definition of the goal framework, what it is, how it could enhance uh, uh, business benefits for our organization, and then we'll take a look at its key components, as well as a few process steps uh, trying to get the most out of it. Then uh, we'll check what are the key integrations with existing uh, models and applications and uh, close this presentation with a quick overview, a demo of how it should work on an instance. So starting from uh, scratch, the goal framework application allows us to create goals, associate them with the strategic plans and priorities and set targets for them and then evaluate their progress to accomplish the organizational plans and drive business uh, outcome. It actually allows us to start monitoring and controlling uh, typically qualitative uh, features that before were not controllable or were just not uh, uh, controlled. We are talking about that ambitious objectives, high level objectives that an organization sets for itself and that expected also to motivate and challenge uh, uh, your teams. For instance, using renewable energy by the end of year 2023 or increase diversity in the workplace by 50%. The goal framework, uh, in this uh, sense, represents a link between the high-level purpose of uh, the organization, so what's driven uh, by a vision through a mission, and the day-to-day -day, uh, operations, helping, uh, uh, as I just said, to make measurable and controllable, typically qualitative uh, subjects. How the goal framework can enhance our organization chances to achieve significant uh, business benefits? Well, first of all, it helps to ensure that the entire organization uh, can focus efforts on the same strategic uh, priorities, uh, thanks to the facilitation of an overall alignment with the goals set up by the organization. But most importantly, it enables uh, the association of work and planning items uh, with the goals we set up. So the work we do to accomplish the goals and meet the targets becomes easily visible. In this way, we'll also have enough data and information for real-time checkpoints for goals uh, over uh, weekly, monthly and quarterly time windows. The goal framework is uh, uh, built on uh, three key components. Uh, the first one are the strategic priorities, so the actions of a strategic plan that help to orient the organizational strategic plan itself towards uh, uh, our goal. Then the goals themselves, the objectives that we want to reach based on our strategic plan. And then the targets, the intermediate steps uh, to track and measure our progress towards the goal. There are a few process uh, tips we could follow in order to properly implement the goal framework and try to exploit the most of its uh, potential. So the first uh, thing to do should be to create the strategic plan to define the purpose of our organization and then create the strategic priorities to orient the plan towards our goal. Now we can uh, focus on uh, creating the goals and then uh, identifying the targets for uh, uh, the goal, remembering that targets uh, should be always uh, smart. At this stage, then we can create a goal relationship with uh, work or uh, works and eventually set a goal as primary for these works and items when and if they particularly contribute to achieve it. And here we have a graphical depiction of the table structure related to the goal framework, which as you can see is pretty consistent with what we just saw about the process tips. As we said at the beginning, the goal framework is available on San Diego since May 2022 uh, within APW, Alignment Planner Workspace, uh, but it can be used uh, uh, with uh, many other ServiceNow uh, products and uh, applications. Uh, for instance, could be used with Project Portfolio Management as well as Agile Development 2.0 or Scaled Agile Framework, SAFE. 
of course, also with uh, APW itself uh, to associate uh, the Man's Project Program uh, Epix uh, with the goal to capture the work uh, being done. So this was an overview of the goal framework, uh, its key components uh, and uh, integrations. Uh, now let's take a look at how it should work uh, on an instance. Uh, we will look at my personal development uh, instance and as per the process tips uh, we just shared, uh, we will start from the strategic plans. So here we are, we are logged in my personal development instance as a system administrator. I'm gonna show you the ideal process of the goal framework implementation starting from the strategic plans. Here I've created a couple of sample strategic plans. We will take a closer look at the first one, which is about increasing the habit within 2024. Scrolling down among the various information and details we can feel about it, we find the strategic priorities, so the key initiatives. Uh, we need to complete in order to achieve uh, the plan we have already set up. Here as a strategic priority, I've identified uh, increase the revenues from 1 to 1 1.5 million uh, per year. Getting into the strategic uh, priority, we finally get uh, to the goals. In this case, uh, the goal is organizational optimization marked as in progress. And we also have a percentage of uh, progress um, I'm going to show you in uh, a bit where this number comes from. So opening uh, the goal, we can uh, uh, include and update uh, many details about the goal itself, uh, such as the status or the uh, category, but most importantly, we have details about the associated items. Uh, so the targets, the sub goals were uh, present uh, and the aligned work. In uh, uh, this example, I've identified the three targets finalize all pending offers, cost mapping, and then including at least 20% of each total contract uh, worth of uh, assets. As you can see, uh, two of the targets are milestone type, uh, while one is uh, uh, maximize. Milestone uh, means that uh, a target uh, is either uh, achieved or not. So you have uh, uh, zero or 100% uh, uh, completion maximize uh, means that there is a progressive uh, completion and that's why we have 100% of the first one which means it's already completed zero on the second one which means that still is not uh, uh, completed and 25 of the third one given a base value of 12 and a target value of 20 with an actual value of 14 it means we uh, achieved the two out of eight uh, value points uh, so 25%. And from these percentages comes the uh, percentage uh, we saw about the overall goal. Last but not least, uh, the aligned uh, work. So other initiatives considered crucial to uh, achieve the overall goal. In this case, the uh, aligned work is a program and is a program related to the review of the sales uh, playbook. Another uh, interesting uh, way to take a look at uh, our goals uh, and uh, to focus on uh, what we are currently busy on is uh, through the Alignment Planner workspace itself, where we can have a full picture of uh, uh, the goals and targets uh, we have identified. Here, for instance, you can see the goal we were just looking at, so organizational optimization with uh, the targets uh, we were uh, commenting, but also another goal about uh, internationalization with a couple of targets associated to this goal uh, itself. So uh, through uh, this uh, dashboard, uh, we can actually have uh, uh, a different perspective on uh, the same topic uh, to have an overview on uh, what's going on in the organization about uh, our goals. So this is it. Thank you for your attention. I hope you found it interesting and I hope I teased your curiosity about uh, the goal framework uh, and uh, how Platformation could support you in uh, exploiting the most of its uh, potential. Stay tuned on uh, our website and social networks for more insights about uh, ServiceNow products, applications and in general about how to make the workflow. This is Angelo, Senior Business Consultant at uh, Platformation. Have a good day.